welcome back to Hubble Turning in the Stable Studio. Today's project is a repeat of the one that went wrong the other night. So let's go over to the lathe and let's have a look at the piece of wood. So on the lathe we have a nice piece of cherry. About the same size as it was yesterday. Let me just quickly confirm that for you. It's about 9 inches long and it's about 7 inches-ish wide. Six and a half, seven inches wide. I've already done my fastener bit. I've already drilled the hole for the uh, woodworm screw. So now all we have to do is get the, uh, the Robert Sorby chuck. So a little Patriot chuck that we've just got. Pop that on there. And we'll fit in this woodworm screw. Now this woodworm screw is fitted in so the jaws fit into this groove. Flats machined on it. And the corners are kind of rounded. So that just fits in. So that when you close the jaws, the the edges of the jaw fit into that groove. And what I normally do is I just put it put it in until I, it, it can come back or forward, and then get it in its right place so it won't turn. And then pull it forward and tighten the chuck up. So that pulling forward action saves you when you put the wood the wood on and screw it up. That that would pull it forward anyway, but that stops it from pulling forward. So just tighten up both sides of the uh, chuck, as I always do. There's no really need for it. And then all we're going to do is put this on here, with a good worm screw onto the wood worm screw, and just get it started, somewhat like that. And then I'm going to lock the spindle, just using the spindle lock there, and then just wind this on. And we just wind it on until it stops and becomes tight. That's about as tight as I can get that, I think. There we go, that should be tight. Give that a quick spin, make sure it's okay. And in the beginning, as I've always says, as I always say, Make sure you use tailstock support when it's available. We'll pop in this step center, close that up, and that's that piece mounted onto the chuck. We're now get our tail our tool rest into place. And I'm just using my Axminster tool rest today. So we've got a little bit extra just here, which we'll take off first, just so we can sort out this face. Face shield on. Remembering it in your workshop, guys, the safety is your responsibility, not somebody else's. So take care of what you're doing and work as safely as you can. So here we go with this little project, guys. Um, it's a piece of cherry. It's nine inches long, seven inches wide, and about three and a half inches deep. So we're just going to crack on with this and I'll speed it all up for you so you're not going to have to sit and watch the whole thing again. This is the same as we did on the one that had a little bit of a disaster uh, on my last uh, YouTube video. So sit back and relax and we'll just uh, speed on through this and uh, play some music. What about the world we both believed in? What about the word that made it so? What about your blood boiling creases? When you're just aching for her love like you could blow? You're like a broken record The turns and turns and turns again You're like a broken record It's what I am It's what I am 
first corner in. And that's the job done. Time for sanding. So I'll just quickly sand this up. And I'll come back to you when the sanding's finished.
that's that little project finished. Thanks very much to Robert Sorby for sending me the uh, Patriot Chuck to do a little review and a test on. Uh, the review was done in an earlier video which you can look up. I'll put the link at the end. Uh, and most of the tools I used today were Robert Sorby as well. Good tools and a super little chuck. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.